<clears throat> Hello. I'm Josh Boker. You're watching The Peach Pitch, a music review channel. I review music. You know you know the spiel. Today we're talking about the new album from Third Coast Percussion, Sergio Assad and Clarice Assad. It's called Archetypes. This is the new album from the Chicago-based percussion quartet known as Third Coast Percussion, who I would say are one of the most unique and interesting acts in contemporary classical music today. They've really provided some of the most eclectic, unique albums that are both original, either original compositions that they've created or even just reinterpretations too, whether it's the Steve Reich or Steve Reich interpretations or the collection of works in collaboration with Dev Hines, also known as Blood Orange on Fields in 2019. They've really just provided unique works where the group really just tries new things and really tries to venture into new territory each time they release a new project. And I found out about Third Coast Percussion from Perpetuum, their 2019 album that really featured a lot of original compositions, a lot of works from Philip Glass as well, that really overall was super fun to listen to. Like this thing was so cool and still is. It's, I really recommend it. It's over an hour of material that is both like alien-like and... It's really cold, isolated, but really beautiful and fun. And has a lot of post-rock elements and electronic elements, too, that are really, really cool. And I would say give Perpetuum a listen, please. Thank you. They, they constantly push themselves and grow with each new album. And I would say this new album, Archetypes, really proves that in collaboration with Sergio Assad, who is a Brazilian guitarist and composer, and Clarice Assad, who is a multi-instrumentalist, vocalist, and Sergio's daughter. This is a really unique project that not only features new elements and new instruments that I haven't really heard in a Third Coast Percussion project yet, new elements of guitar, piano, vocals, and also just elements of Latin jazz and, and Latin rhythmic music throughout this record, which is really adds a lot of flavor, a lot of layers to this project and to this group in general. It's really an exciting venture. But what's the most interesting thing about this album is really the theme itself. It's titled Archetypes, named after the 12 character archetypes in literature. You've probably learned it in Eng English class. I know I have. Or whether it's the jester or the hero or the innocent or the orphan, just to name a few examples, they've really come to themselves to assign each member, whether it's the members of the group or Sergio or Clarice themselves, they're assigned a certain archetype to make a song after kind of retelling these ancient stories that these characters are named after and overall it's a really cool experience and I would say it's just such a really fun experience too. This thing is the most accessible record they've put out. I would say each track is four to five minutes in length which might sound a little bit longer in a pop aesthetic but it's really, really short. It's just under an hour, but it's really short by their standards. Usually <laughs> they have like a 16-minute song in there or a 10-minute venture, but this time it's all really condensed into a tight 12 songs. Obviously, named after the 12 archetypes, there's 12 songs. This album really has a nice shuffle-like quality to it. Like, put this album on shuffle and you get just as fun of an experience as you would um, just putting it from start to finish. When you listen to Third Coast Percussion, you get elements of marimba and vibraphone and drums. And if you don't like the marimba or vibraphone, 
get the heck out of here. It's not your cup of tea if you don't like that. But I love that type of music. I didn't even know I loved it until I listened to Perpetulum. So I love the the heck out of the vibraphone and marimba and drums on this record. But also what really brings this to another level are the piano, guitar, and vocals. Where the vocals aren't really as prominent, they're really only on a couple songs, but the piano and guitar are really a focal point. And this album is a variety of sorts, kind of ranging from icy cold chamber pop to warm Latin jazz to uh, just piano driven pop. The album's production is very, very immense. It really sounds like you're in the room with them. You're really hearing it as they're performing. It's just a really sonically beautiful record. The Rebel kicks this album off in an explosive fashion with its hand claps, bongos, and sharp piano jabs. It's really a bright and rapid fire start to this album. The Innocent is gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous. It is my favorite track on this album and really just features Clarice Assad's vocals on this album, which is so heavenly and gorgeous. It's a shame that there aren't as many vocals on this record because The Innocent is clearly an amazing example of applying vocals to this type of instrumentation. And the acoustic guitars is absolutely lush and beautiful all over this track and really promote the traditional beauties of Latin guitar music. The Magician is quite carefree and sunny with its instrumentation. It's very peppy and light and graceful. The Ruler starts out also being very pretty and, and just melancholy, but I would say this time its hand claps are kind of annoying and kind of take away the beauty of the track. It's, it's, it's kind of a little awkward in a way. It, it's not necessarily my favorite thing about the song. And unfortunately, I wish the hand claps weren't there. Sometimes the hand claps go together nicely, like the, the opening track, but this track, not so much. The Jester is by far the craziest song on this album. It's the craziest song I've heard this year, guys. It's, it's insane. I don't even know where to begin with this track. Weird combination of all these different instruments and sounds that somehow come together, and I don't know how the heck they do it. I just, I don't know how they did it. It it's, has these weird, this one instrument that you hear throughout like Australian music and old timey desert music that you might hear in Western films too. I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's throughout this track. It's like a vocal manipulative instrument and also has these weird bird calls, kind of like, sounds like a rubber duck and slide whistles that beep. and it also has this like wobbly you know like you know like the piece of metal that you like shake it's like a wobbly sound that's on there too and it also has like a symbol that sounds like it accidentally just fell off and is just like rolling on the ground it is such a weird track it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb on this record but it is an amazing highlight on this thing that <laughs> I just have no idea how they came up with this. Were they on drugs? This song is incredible and I absolutely love it. It puts a smile on my face. And if you listen to anything from this record, please listen to The Jester. It's such a cool track. The Sage <laughs> is a complete 180 and kind of sounds like a soundtrack to your next paranormal horror film. It is very creepy and icy and disturbing almost, but also it's really it's a really cool track. It features these really whispery vocals from Clarice that sound very creepy and will give you goosebumps for sure. But the whispered vocals are actually a really nice layer in this instrumental and features these very plucky and, and unusually high notes on the piano. The Hero is arguably the album's most explosive track. I would say it's the best track on the album in terms of a pop appeal. It really has this 
explosive piano delivery and crashing uh, percussion, fiery shakers, and really quick guitar plucking too. Like, beep, 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 beep. it's quick. The Explorer is also another fiery cut that really ends the album getting you pretty revved up. All in all, like, I loved this album. And although I wished there was more vocals from Clarice Assad, as well as more of those Latin jazz influenced ballads, kind of like The Innocent. Still, I love this thing. I really do enjoy it. This is one of the most surprising and exciting projects to come out of this year. And I think Third Coast Percussion, although they've been nominated for you know a few Grammys and even won a Grammy, I still think they're very underrated and underappreciated, uh, especially just in music. And I think more and more people should know about Third Coast Percussion and should really listen to their successful and unique array of albums. I cannot stress enough how cool this album is, how cool it sounds. And if you don't think the marimba is cool, then get the heck out of here. I don't even want to see you. This unique combination already of marimba, vibraphone, drums, etc. is really exciting to hear anyway from the band, but this time bringing in Clarice and Sergio Assad really just adds so much excitement to this album. And I really hope, I really hope they come back together in a future project because you can't you can't miss it. I just think this thing is such a fresh listen and the guitar, Latin jazz elements, and piano really add so much to this thing. It makes this project sound so exciting, so fun. I just cannot stress how cool this album sounds. If I had to rate this thing out of 10, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. It's such a strong collection of tracks. Not only are the performances really great, but the overall theme of the 12 character archetypes is really, really cool. And I think it successfully presents these archetypes in a unique way and in a successful way, too. They really retell these ancient stories in a new light. And I really appreciate that. Uh, from that standpoint, it's super cool, too. So there's plenty to return to on this thing. It's such a rewarding and fun and accessible listen, too. This is by far the group's most accessible thing, in my opinion. If you're new to Third Coast Percussion, give this give this album a shot because I think this might lead you into becoming a fan, hopefully. So that's really it. Um, Archetypes, awesome album. Really excited to hear it. And I hope you do too. From what I've lost in my hairline, I've only grown in my love for music. The Peach Pitch, thanks for watching. Sayonara.